Good morning, everybody. How are you? I hope you're well. Um, I'm Jan Charmias. I just wanted to get on and talk about this whole area of the body, the shoulders, the chest. One of the things that happens as the weather gets colder is we tend to close off the front of the chest. So we kind of round ourselves forward, keeps us a little warmer, or we feel like it keeps us warmer. The other thing is we kind of take our shoulders up by our ears and you know, this idea of kind of huddling in, I always think of, you know, protection and warmth, but it prevents us from breathing really easily. And also it tends to create this kind of position, body position of closing yourself off, of not being open and receptive. So we're gonna focus a little bit on this area of the body. I grabbed a yoga belt. Now I love my yoga belts. Um, this is a, actually a really long one, which is kind of nice. It has a buckle. You can use a bathrobe belt. You could use a dog leash. You could use a tie. I'm going to take that belt and place it right at the bottom tips of my shoulder blades. I'm going to make sure most of, both of the pieces are somewhat even. Now, the one that's on the left side, I'm going to drape over my left shoulder. Sorry about the I hit the wall back there. And I'm going to take the piece that's in the on the right side and drape it over the right side. Okay. I'm going to pull down sort of like a parachute, pull down in the back and then slightly forward. And you can definitely see the difference in my body position. And I do this all the time. So, um, but what it does is it helps draw our shoulders back keeps them back, which is where they're supposed to live. I mean, they don't really live that in our area, in our body that way, but we hope they do. And it really opens up the front of the chest and just take like five deep breaths, just inhaling through your nose and exhaling through your mouth. And I often wish that I could just walk around like this. Um, if you could tie the belt in the front, you would be able to, but it does hinder your ability to do certain things. Take my word for it, because I've tried. <laughs> but um, it is really nice to just be able to sit like this for a period of time, even in meditation, just to be able to not have to hold your body and have the belt hold the body so that you're not doing as much work. And then you can undo the above, the ones on the top. Now, what I want you to do is keep the belt right at the bottom tips of the shoulder blades, sort of coming through underneath your arm. And I want you to focus on the muscles that are over here and draw the shoulders back from there. They're very small muscles, they're not very well trained, but it's very different than trying to draw the shoulders back and open up the front of the chest from your upper back like this. So there is a much more of a relaxation. There's a lot less tension over here in the neck. So it takes um, the, um, restriction and sort of force out of it. So just focusing on that area to get the chest to open. The last thing that I want you to do in this position is envision we're standing in a door. So if I was standing in a door frame and I would try to widen my shoulders or my arms away from each other. And that just gives more space. So I'm still drawing the shoulder blades on the back, but I'm giving it a little bit more width. And then my arms can rest comfortably and I can close my eyes or not. Just a really nice position for opening up the chest. Now, one of my favorite things to do is kind of to see where I am to do something and then compare. It just gives me a great reference to one is to almost like this little proof to myself that this actually does work. So <laughs> what I'd like you to do is if you have a book, you could use a weight, but it's not necessary to use a weight. Um, you're going to grab, I like my yoga blocks. I'm gonna hold my block like I'm holding a platter and then I'm gonna come on my fingertips. 
Now, this is just to work the um, sort of the range of motion of your shoulder. So you're going to bring your arm out. And you can see. I'm then going to bring, keep it out. I'm going to lift it up. I'm going to come down and bring it back in. And I'll do that about five times. Just a good range of motion for the shoulder. Now the last one, you can keep it up and just do a little turn. You're gonna feel that right at the bottom tip of your shoulder blade and then come back in. And then you can do the opposite arm. I'm not gonna do the opposite. Well, I'll do the opposite arm just so that you get a, it's gonna be different for each side. I'm trying to make, it's almost like you're making a circle with your arm just to work that shoulder. And then you can lift it up, keep it kind of in toward your head. It's gonna help you not let the block drop. And part of the reason it's better than using a weight or something like you clench is you're keeping um, the action in the arm and the stability. So you're like almost like trying to balance with the hand of the arm. That's two. Now the next one is very hard. Um, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm not apologizing, but I'm apologizing. You're gonna hold the block or an object in front. Now the tendency is my elbows wanna slay out. This is pretty comfortable because it keeps the chest open. But for this, I'm gonna close the gap a little bit. I'm not closing it too much. I don't wanna close off the chest, but I'm gonna do a torso distance. Now I don't change the position of my arm necessarily. I'm just gonna change the location and you'll watch. So as I lift the arms up, I'm gonna lift the arms up. The elbows are trying to point up and the tricep area is trying to come vertical to the floor. Now mine are slightly forward, but this is a lot of work. And then come down. Ooh. Notice how I move my head and my neck because all of a sudden I'm like, wow. So just to do a little stretch so we can feel a little comparison, take your left arm out to the left, cross it in front, drop your outer shoulder. And then let go. And then take your right arm out to the right, cross it in front, drop the shoulder. Take a few deep breaths here. And then just take your arms down by your side. You can take your palms, let them face down or up. Down is a little bit more grounding, kind of rooting into yourself, kind of coming inside. Palms up is being open to receive. So just take three deep breaths here. Thank you so much for your time this morning or this afternoon or this evening. Have a wonderful day and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.